Alright guys, welcome to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we will be taking a look at some prehistoric animals as well as dinosaur figurines from my Takara told me collection. Okay, so this box right here basically contains all of my Takara told me dinosaurs and prehistoric animals. So and um, this was actually sent to us by a Dan Safarian, so I'll be very happy to add this into a collection. But I'm not too sure whether we already have this figure, so let's find out together. Alright, so this is a figure of a Dino Kyrus. Okay, so let me just cut this box open, just give me a second. Not showing you guys how I actually opened this box because um, I don't want you to use like, you know, a box cutter like me. So let's get this one out. So here is the figure. Let's get it out of the pack. So what do we have right here? A Dino Kyrus. I don't think we have this figure. I can't remember that we actually... I can't remember whether we have this figure, but I don't think so. So let's have a look at this. It's basically one of the largest of the Onithomimers has a blade-like projection on his back like a Spinosaurus right here, okay? So this newer spine bone definitely looks a little bit like a Spinosaurus. So let's have a look at this. Quite a huge herbivorous dinosaur, I would say. Okay, uh, yeah, omnivore. Okay, perhaps it also feed on like little insects. So that is um, possible, you know, like a chicken. So the next thing that we are going to do, it's basically to take a look at our entire collection, okay? So let's have a look. So right here, we have a red T-Rex. So let's try to put all the T-Rex together. And here's another one, which is, um, you know, one of the very first releases from Takara Tomi. This is probably the first one. Okay, some animals include a prehistoric elephant by the name of Wooly Mammoth. Yep, so they are like modern day elephants, but they are filled with fur and they were actually found in the cold, temperate regions. And this is a Mosasaurus, which is a prehistoric reptile, a marine reptile. Okay, you guys should be quite familiar with the Spinosaurus if you have been following me on Dan Surprise. And here with an Ankylosaurus, which is a herbivore, and um, it is known as the Fused Lizard. Beautiful one. Spinosaurus is actually one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs around. You can see it has a huge neural spine bones, really beautiful. They are like part semi, they are semi-aquatic dinosaurs, which means they are able to live on both land and the sea. And here's another red T-Rex. Triceratops right here, beautiful one. Here we have a Carnotaurus, okay, which is known as the meat-eating bull. I'll just try to put them, um, all the T-Rex together. Let's see, here's another green T-Rex. This one I think is relatively new. Yep. And here we have another one, which is um, supposed to be an electronic T-Rex. Not too sure whether it's still working. Yeah, the sounds are still are no longer working. I, I should maybe like change the batteries inside. And here we have a feathered T-Rex, you can see on top of his body, you're able to find some feathers. Do you guys love your dinosaurs with feathers or without feathers? And here we have another Spinosaurus, which is the same sculpt as the green one. So you can see the body pose, the shape is exactly the same, just that it has a different paint scheme. Brachiosaurus. Yep, one of the um, classic figures from Takara Tomi. This is also from Takara Tomi, but of course it is not from the same series. It is actually from the Good Dinosaur series, but it's still part of um, Takara Tomi collection. Okay. And this is Arlo, the Apatosaurus. Have you guys like watched the Good Dinosaur before? And here's another prehistoric animal. Baby Woolly Mammoth. This is actually from the new series. Yeah, the new series that actually came out with some story behind every single dinosaur, and this is a raptor. There's another raptor right here, Velociraptor to be exact. 
Okay, in here we have another Mosasaurus. Nice. And Kylosaurus, a green version. Just now I've shown you guys the brown version. Another Raptor right here. Okay, let's see what else we got. Wow, this one is the cool one. Silver T-Rex. Metallic silver T-Rex. The entire body is like glowing and shining. Really nice. And here we have a blue T-Rex. Blue and red T-Rex. Which is kind of cool as well. Not too sure whether this was actually from Takara Tomi. It's basically like our skeleton of a Triceratops. And speaking of Triceratops, we do have one right here. Okay, I don't think the sounds are working anymore for sure. Oh! Oh my goodness, it's still working. Nice. Styracosaurus. Um, this is actually a dog-built dinosaur from Japan. I'm not too sure whether it's a cam Camusaurus or something like that. I can't really remember. Another T-Rex. This is like a dark navy blue T-Rex, which is kind of cool as well. This is like a bust of a Triceratops head. So it's from Epoch. Quite a nice one. Velociraptor. Brown version. Here's another T-Rex. Green version. So there are just way too many T-Rex that they have actually produced. Way too many, I feel. Green one, green T green Velociraptor. And here we have another prehistoric animal, which is known as the Elasmosaurus, which was discovered in sorry, this is actually the Futabasaurus. It is a um plesiosaur discovered in Japan. And here we have um a T-Rex from the good dinosaur. Yet another T-Rex, this time it is a feathered version. And here's another one. So wow, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We already have like ten different T-Rex in the entire collection. Uh, there could be more inside, who knows? A tiny little Pachycephalosaurus. So I uh, so apparently we don't have the Dino Kyrus, which is which which I'm quite surprised. So thanks a lot, Jeremiah, for sending us this Dino Kyrus. Because apparently we don't have it. So Stegosaurus. Um, Parasaurolophus, which is another dog built dinosaur, a nice one. This one should be an Apatosaurus, really beautiful one. Therizinosaurus, right here. Okay, with the huge claws, as you guys can see. It was actually seen in Jurassic World Dominion. And the very first release of the Spinosaurus, this is actually from Takara Tomi as well. The very first Spinosaurus, which it's a bipedal Spinosaurus, which means it's walking on two legs. If you do a comparison with this one, this is this is actually walking on four legs. But though they are the same species, but the illustrate I mean the um, depiction of it is totally different. So initially, paleontologists thought Spinosaurus were walking on two legs, but later on they concluded that they probably, you know, walk on four legs. Small Don, a prehistoric tiger. And here's another prehistoric animal. Pteranodon, prehistoric flying reptile, Velociraptor. And here we have a caveman. And um, it's known as a Homo nindotalensis. Very nice little figure. I have no idea what this is, guys. And here is another. T-Rex, we have way too many T-Rex, just way too many. And here we have a baby Triceratops and a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mosasaurus. This one is known as a Fuqui Raptor, which is a kind of um, raptor discovered in China, um, Japan, if your pardon. Ammonite 
We have a couple of um this is actually um this came along with the Spinosaurus. It's basically like a nest of eggs. We have a silo can right there. Yeah, so yeah, this is basically our small collection of um Takara Tomi dinosaurs. I think um yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully when I when I visit Japan, I'll be able to find more you know Takara Tomi dinosaurs over there that would be awesome. Okay. Alright, thanks a lot for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.